Welcome back to the Indie Gamers, everybody, and today we're playing... Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Uh, now, before we actually hit start, yeah. if you're watching this as it's going up, if you look at our banner, you'll see that there's Phoenix Wright 1, and then Professor Layton 4. Mm -hmm. The reason for that is because Professor Layton 4, 5, and 6 take place before 1, 2, and 3. So, I am going to play 1, 2, and 3, because that's a channel rule. But timeline-wise, to work for the Phoenix Wright versus Professor Layton game... Got to do one, two, three versus Leighton four, five, six. Just makes sense in the long run. And we'll have fun with that. But in the meantime, Phoenix Wright won. All right. Let's do so this. first, I've I'm gonna say something here. I know about the Phoenix Wright games. I know about the memes and the objection and stuff. I've actually seen the live action movie from Japan, which is really good. I recommend you guys watching it. I saw After. a review on it. <laughs> um, this Friends. is my first. To be honest with you, this is my first time going through a Phoenix Wright game. Oh, I've played through all of them. That's why I have Shannon <laughs> helping me with this one. So, I have a, I have a spoiler three, free walkthrough here to help him out as he goes, but I won't be telling him things unless he specifically asks. Exactly. So, so hopefully begin. this will be a little more fun than uh, Ratchet and Clank, because, you know, yeah, walkthrough, walkthrough yeah. for that entire thing. All right. But, uh, and now begin. we just have Edgeworth just staring at us. Judging us for... Judging his <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> Judging my every move. All Let's right. do this. The for first turnabout. This actually looks pretty nice, actually. The uh, This is Game Boy Advance. I yeah, know. So. I mean, on our <sighs> display. What you guys are seeing, what we're seeing, too. <sighs> Shit. Damn it! Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this! Shit! I I've gotta find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. That guy. I'll make it look like he did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was hoping you would do that. August 3rd. August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. <clears throat> Boy, am I nervous. Right. Huh? <laughs> D-Cups. Boobies. <Full> justice. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, hey, uh, Chief. Glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you, and your client as well. Uh, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe him my job, my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. This is Larry. It's over! My life! Everything! It's all over! Shannon is screaming inside right now. Uh, not quite. I was gonna say, like, <laughs> and I'm Larry! Oh, and I'm Larry! The yeah. brain, and Larry. And Larry. <laughs> And Larry! Move on. Isn't that your client screaming over there? Uh, yeah, that's him. Tess! Despair! Oh! I'm going to, I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! Sounds like he wants to die. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> uh, Nick! Hey, hey there, Larry. <laughs> Dude! I'm so guilty! Tell him I'm guilty! Give me the death sentence! I ain't afford to die! What? Wait. What? What's what's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I, I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in this world without her. I can't. Whoa. Who? Who? Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Uh, Nick. We gotta tell him that me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspapers say it was you. This is in his head. Well, yeah, that's why the blue with the parentheses. My name... <clears throat> my name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a f uh, fairly simple one. Ah! Simple. Sorry, I have to laugh because it's never a young simple. Woman, a young woman was killed in an apartment. The guy that I was was unli unlikely sat dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying. 
When someone smiles, it's usually the butts. When something smells. smells. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Smiling butts. Uh, <laughs> that's like Ace Ventura shit. <laughs> Do you have a breastfeed? <laughs> In the 23 years I've known him, he's unusually been true. He has a knick knack of getting himself in trouble. One thing I'm sure, though, he is usually not his. It's not usually his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him. I owe him one. Which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm gonna do! August 3rd, 10 a.m., District Court. <laughs> Courtroom number two. <laughs> 10 a.m., New York. <laughs> and the sun was like, Dee. Yeah. Dee. Dee. Um, was I this guy? No, I'm taking this judge that way. I'm not voicing like eight characters in a later case. <laughs> Fair enough. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor! Thank you. The, um, <clears throat> defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> He's like, not nervous. Uh, Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Y y yes, Your Honor. I I I'm a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Where there's a serious charge, for your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank, thanks. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to assert, ascertain your readiness. Y yes, 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 Your Honor. <sighs> Gold. Hands shaking, eyes wetting, knees fading, mom spaghetti. <laughs> my favorite part. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. <clears throat> Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Phoenix Wright, Maya Faye, or Larry Butts. Maya Faye, that's our boss, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because her so, name is Mia. Yeah. Larry Butts. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, your honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Oof, I know this one. Glad I read the curse case, uh, case report cover Before to cover you go on. so many times. Uh, go ahead and click the court record button. Uh, probably the R button. Aha! Uh -huh. Attorney's badge. Uh, hit A. There you go. The other er, Type other. One of my possessions. No one would believe if I was a defense attorney if I didn't have this. Then go ahead and hit R or write. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. uh, May Free. Uh, I, I think this is me reading my own stuff. I mean, if you want to. Yeah. Go Chief on. Attorney of uh, Farron Co., my boss and a very good defensive attorney. Uh, my badge. Oh, okay. Profile's another one, so you want to go write. Okay. That's weird. I have to click on it. And then scroll through it. No, no. That's only taking you between the first uh, piece of evidence and profile. Oh, my There right, you go. How did you do that? My right button's not working. Oh, weird. Send us... Okay. Sin, uh, Larry, Larry Butts, Butts. Def defendant in the case. I'll let you read these, yeah. The defendant in the case. Likeable guy who has my, or who is my friend in grade school. Got that one. Um, Winston Payne, age 52. The prosecutor of this case. Lacks presence. Generally bad at getting his point across. The victim. Cindy Stone, age 22. The victim in this case. A model. She lived in an apartment by herself. So okay. you want to go back to the... No, no, court record one more time, because we have the autopsy report. Uh, time of death. Seven... Um, I, we'll Seven switch between the two, I think. 7.31... Er, sorry. August... July, July 31st. 4 to 5 p.m. <laughs> Edward's just Cost of so death, hard. <laughs> loss of blood due to blunt trauma. Alright, that's it. Yeah, yeah that's all we for have. some reason my right button's not working even though I clamped it, so I'm thinking my controller on what my right side. What about the control side? stick? Uh, no, it's, disab it's disabled. Oh, but that's fine. Right. I don't think we go right that often anyway. Do we? Go right all the time to select evidence, so... Shit. That'll, that'll be a pain later, so we'll fix that between episodes. Yeah. Alright. Good Bad rhythm. It, wait. Uh-oh. No! No way! I forgot! I draw a total blank here! We just read it. <laughs> Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? I just checked! Oh, the victim! Oh, of course! I, I know the victim's name! Uh, um, just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Ah, 
Look, the defendant's name is listed in the court record. Does it really want me to go through the whole thing? Just, the, just touch the court record button to check at any time, so you don't have to. Okay. Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please, baby. Let's hear your answer. Who is the victim in this case? Cindy Cinderblock. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is this the universe? That's probably an actual name. name. So Probably so works for the mob. <laughs> probably so. Anyway, no, it is Cindy, uh, Cindy Stone. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Now, tell me, what was the cause of death? Blood force trauma. She died because she was poisoned. Hit with a blunt object. Strangled. Hit with a blunt object. She was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we should proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed. <laughs> That's what I'm sure. <laughs> well then. First, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne. <laughs> yes, Your Honor! God, fuck. That's his voice. I know. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> Continue. <laughs> As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was this statue of the Thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts this into evidence. Time to add it to the court records. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Touch the court record button to check the court record frequently. Mr. Payne. The prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh. Larry does exactly... He gets... Ex um, excited. Excited, easily. This could be bad. <laughs> Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, what's it, buddy? We're, we were having great ticket. We were to get great together. Like we were Romeo and Juliet. Can you try to mark hands? <laughs> um, didn't they all die? <laughs> I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't talk taking my phone calls or seeing me ever. Oh wait, I'm doing the voice. Sorry. <clears throat> what is what is it to you anyway? Mr. Butts, what you described is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What? 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 what one of them? Lies! All of it! Lies! I don't believe a word of you. No honor. The victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport, Passport added. added to the court record. I want to take a look at that here pretty soon. It's you. Hmm. Indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude! No way! The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Oh, fuck you. Daddies? Sh sh sugar? It's a great candy. Yeah. Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! We can clearly see that the kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you wanted to answer that question. Yeah, Larry was a... <clears throat> yeah, Larry was a, a way of... A w Running his mouth. Mouse in, a, in all the wrong directions. Should I? Stop him. My client has no idea what the victim was seeing other men. That's the question. Is there relevant to this case? Oof. Dude! Nick! What do you know? What do you mean? Irrelevant. That's cheating, she dog. That's cheating, she dog. I'm gonna die. I just wanna drop dead. Yeah, and I want. When I met her in the... When I meet her... Oh, she was going fast. Get, get to the bottom, bottom of this. 
Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Uh, you haven't cleared he has done it. Yes, quite. Oh, oh boy, this is not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? <laughs> well, did you, or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did. And maybe I didn't. Uh oh, he went. <laughs> Phoenix, like, fuck, what do I do? And once honestly, you're stopping from answering. Uh. Technically. This is relevant to the case, so I think you want him to answer. Yeah, I'm gonna let him answer so I can yeah, hear. Have him answer honestly. I know. I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth. Uh. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. I was there. I went. He actually read that. <laughs> Order! Well, Mr. Butts. Dude, chill. <laughs> she wasn't home. Man. So, like, I didn't see her. I'm dead, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Your Honor, the defendant is lying! How? Lying. The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who was your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the sea of the crime. <laughs> order! Order in the court! Fox! Mr. Payne, <laughs> the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, your honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder... My witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. Oh. Uh, this fucker! Mm. Or like, Frank did it! Mm, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Sawit, you sell newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? Oh, yes, yes. Newspapers, yes! I was thinking, like, you <laughs> get one voice there. <laughs> you have Mr. Sawit, you this. may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witness testimony. Okay, I says account. Okay. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. Okay. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. When I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead! That was... Okay. I qualify er, I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Why was it not working? I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. Incorrect. Okay. I already uh, know why. Okay. The man who, who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. <laughs> Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? Can't defend you against a testament like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Thank you. Your Honor, at the time of this murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Good call. Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. That's bullshit. The phone that Mr. Saad used was one of those. Your Honor... I have a record of the blackout for your per, uh, perusal. Blackout. blackout record added to the court record. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes. Uh, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination? Your Honor. All right, Wright. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? Your client is innocent, right? But that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? Mm. How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence... Present it and rub it in the witness's face. <laughs> um, okay. 
Touch, Touch the court record button and point out contradictions in the testimony. I already have one already. Cross witnesses witness. account. All right. A. All right. So first thing. Uh, it's going to. That's. We can't hit anything with that. No. But uh, you should still go to present just to take a look at what you have. Just be careful not to hit Y. Uh, which is up here. Yeah. So we have the passport, so I'm going to hit the uh, passport so I can take a look at it. Right. Passport. The victims are pre-arrived, but that's normal. In Paris on July The statue 30th, that was... A the statue that... in the shape of the thinker. It's rather yes. heavy. There you go. That's why I found it. Between 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right, where right. he said it was 1 o'clock. Uh, keep going, though. Two more times. There we go. The blackout record. Electricity to Miss Stone's building was out at, uh, noon. at noon to 6 p.m. on the okay, day of the crime. Okay, so that does kind of run into the situation of him saying, so however... Go ahead and, uh, back out. <laughs> the murder... Uh, so go ahead and hit A. I thought it must be in a hurry because he left the door half open. That's... Move the... on. Okay. No, we're not leaving dead. Before I found it, we'll be on side. Okay, that's not the one. Call the police immediately. Next. However, the phone in our apartment wasn't working. That's Next. true. Next. Next. Now, now you want to present. Uh, present. The, this one. Yeah. Hit Y. Yep. What? Oh. Uh. Do I have to use? Uh, Y and then A. A. Because we don't have a microphone on the on the controller. Do I have to... X? I had, a, I had an X. Okay. Sorry. I found You found the body at 1 p.m. You sure? So I have to do Y Yes, X. I saw it at 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I have find that hard to believe. Your statement to correct because of the autopsy report. The autopsy notes that the time of death was sometime between... Uh, sometime after 4 p.m. There was nobody to... Uh, no body... To find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three-hour gap? Uh, oh, that. Oh, um. This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sot, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? That's a good call. I, er, uh, well, I... Gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always forget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Wait, I remember now. Oh, fuck you. Would you care to give your testimony again? That's why they do like two or three testimonies. Well, it's the same. Oh, okay. The discovery of time. Okay. Oh, Chen. Sorry. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. You heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Nope. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. You know, on one of those new battery-powered TVs. Yeah. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about that misunderstanding. Nope, that is bullshit. Hmm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on the tape program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Oh, I fucking will. Right. You know what to do. I got this one. Fucking. <laughs> oh my god. Well, well the it's first... the first case, so of course it's easy. Okay, so, you see, I found the... or I heard the time. Moving on. There was a voice victim program coming for the television! Is yeah. that the one? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Let double me check. check. I want to double check because I feel like that's right. Yep, yep, yep. Go ahead. That's the one? Blackout record. Okay. I got the phone in combination. Hold it right there! The president as I said there, there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves that. You can't have... You've heard the television or video. I... Well, Erk. the defense has a point. Damn right I do. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Slot? No, I, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite! Ah! I saw it oh, wait, 
I remember now. <sighs> Mr. Sot, the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. For that, and you seem rather distraught. His hair. Yeah. M my apologies, Your Honor. It uh, it must have been a shock to finding the body. Very well, <laughs> Mr. Sot. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. The witness testimony. Here in the time. Yeah, all right, what do you got this one, you asshole? Actually, I didn't hear it at the time. I, I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer <laughs> used it to hit the victim. Wow. That must have been what I saw. <sighs> you saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. But he said that was the murder weapon. The defense may cro er, the defense may cross examine the witness. Gladly. <laughs> oh, okay. So, let's begin. Actually, I, I didn't, didn't hear, hear the time. I saw it. Okay. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? The murder weapon. Yep. Okay, go ahead. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was a statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? What? And music you, kicking in. Your objections and your evidence. Just do, who do you think you are? We're breaking him. Just, Call me now. Just answer the question, Mr. Suhat. Saw it. Saw it. Hey, I, I, I saw it there, okay? It's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. I don't know why we have the same voice now. The neck is a, is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Wait, what? Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony? F yes. Uh, give me a moment. All right. Yeah. Hit yes? Yeah. Your Honor, there is a gap hole in the witness testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock it was if it's held in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he's never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradictionary. Contradictionary. I love it. Did I say it right? No, contradiction. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go on. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the, the went into the apartment. Yeah, yeah. He he didn't know the victim. He didn't know the victim. No. Nah. He went into the the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah. Prove it. Prove I went in there. Very well then. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You stuck her with the clock and it struck her with the bro that triggered the clock voice. That was the sound you heard. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, your order. Mr. Suhut. Am I saying that right? Sot. Sot. Mr. Sot. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Unbelievable. Since the Understand. And unassembled. Since the murder weapon broke just as you hit the victim. The voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so captivated about the time. So certain. <laughs> what, what's the meaning of this? This is a baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? Uh, I, but that day, I, I never. Look, I. The clock, I heard. No, I mean, I saw. saw. Ah, the fuck! Ugh, asshole. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I hate you. It was him, I tell you. I saw him. He killed her, and he should burn. Burn. Give him death. Fuck. You sad, strange little man. Yeah. Order. Order in the court, <laughs> sad, I say. Sad, strange little man. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, a moment, please. 
Then there isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Your Honor. Your claim, the sound the witness heard, came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Oh, is right on this. I better think of it through it carefully. Yes, Your Honor. The sound Mr. Soot heard was definitely this clock. It's like saw it. Yeah. The fact clear is simple. If you, if you simply check the sounds clock. Uh, yeah. The try the sounds clock. Try sounding the clock. Let's sound the cl clock now here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I asked the court to, to listen very carefully. Beep. I think it's 8.25. This it certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne. Yeah, can you tell me what time is it now? It's 11.25. It's off by three hours. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely, precisely the dis discrepancy. Precisely the discrepancy between Mr. So Soot heard and the current time of death. So Mr. Soot, try Saw to talk. It. Saw it. Saw it. Mr. Saw it. Try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> you forget one thing. Uh oh. What is he talking about? While it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing! How do you know it was running three hours slow the day of the murder? Uh, time of murder that, that, and, the, and the records? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case! Hmm, he's right. How am I going to prove it, that? Damn it, we're so close. Mr. Wright, it seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Yes, your, your honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately, this ends the cross-examination for Mr. Frank Saw It. Uh, I come all the way down here to testify and look what happens. They treat me like a criminal. Criminal! Because you are one. You lawyers are all the slime. God, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do. To do about it now. Objection! Not so fast, Mr. Sot. May? I mean, Kia. Mia. Mia. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think! But Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, oh, sorry. Um, well, yes. That doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Passport. Don't waste no. time about doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Got it. Figure out the reason. You have your proof. Right. Right. Er, right, right. Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes. I know immediately. Yeah. Yes. Wait. Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere in that thing that can prove it. Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you said the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Sorry. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court records that can prove my claim of beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. Oh, gladly. Let's see this evidence that proves the clock was running slow. Okay, so it's the passport. Yeah. It's Guessing. the only thing we haven't used yet. Yep. YX. Take that! Mm -hmm. The victim had just returned home from aboard the day before the murder. As we all know, the time bet difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. in the next day here, there. The clock isn't 3 hours slow, it's 9 hours fast! The victim hasn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her opponent was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Saw It. Or should I say, Mr. Did It? Ah, I made that joke earlier. Yeah. Oh god. Um. 
Oh, they don't have them like on the floor. <laughs> like fast fix that later. Oh. Order! Order, I say! Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Oh, shit. Mr. Payne, your client. Here. He was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I, I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. And find the true culprit at the same time. Oh, we get that a lot. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah. <laughs> we get with like, every case. No, there, there's, a, there's another case where it's like we prove that our client didn't do it, but we didn't find the killer. And it's like, but we're still innocent, right? Well, someone has to go to jail. <laughs> Guilty! <laughs> it's like, no! <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> at this point, this is only a formality, but... This court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, guilty. Not guilty. Yay, confetti. <laughs> okay, wow, okay. And with that, the court is adjourned. It turns out that uh, Frank saw it. Frank saw it was a common burglar. He poses a newsboat so to check, to check and see when people were out of houses. That day... When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her apartment, the victim returned. Frustrated, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Phew, I still can't believe I've only won. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. Th thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. Have you ever seen the Chief look this happy? She's this glad. Imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Larry! You're supposed to be happy! What's wrong now? Oh. Yeah, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Good. Wait. No, I mean, <laughs> bad, 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 bad! Yeah. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But. But my candy Wendy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a. Uh, mm, never mind. She was. Congratulations, Harry. It's Larry. Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Putts, innocent. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner? Movie? My treat. Oh, no, I couldn't. Oh, I, I see what he did there. <laughs> hey, I was the one who was going to get off the hook. Oh, hey! Here, take this. It's a present. Uh, a present? For me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... This is you. Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You, you made this? That's impressive. Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Oh, no. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into the click. What? That, that, that chick. chick. Ah. And and she was just playing me for a fool. Does that make me want to cry? Stop. Larry. <laughs> That's like, Larry. Are you so sure? E excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? Okay. <laughs> I think that she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah. You don't get sympathies with me. You don't gotta sympathize. It's sympathize. It's me, Suki. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right? Right. Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Right. What the heck is she talking about? The statue? Yeah. Because he made one for her and she took it with her. That's right. <laughs> Check this out, Larry. Uh, proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh. Where did you get that clock? 
This is the clock you made for her, Larry. She took it with her when she traveled. Hmm, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? That's a pretty heavy clock to take ta take traveling. Fucking expensive, too. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I'm asking you to be my lawyer. Really? I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. He found himself hung the next morning. Jesus Christ! <laughs> right? Mm. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right. Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner on me? We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Yeah! Oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah. Part, at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? Hey, and so my first trial came to a close. Larry slipped, up, slapped me on back. the back, and said, "Gee, Nick, it's good of you to have friends." But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay me, unless you count the clock he gave to Maya. <laughs> Mia. Mia. Maya's the next one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that. I didn't know then, but that clock was soon going to be the center of an, uh, another incident, and my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. The end. And I think we'll just end the episode there. Yeah. Just because that's a good place good to end. Good way to end. But we'll catch you guys tomorrow for more when we go to Turnabout Sisters. Catch you later, guys.